I'm going to make today is a mount for my automatic tranny cooler. This truck originally, of course, it's a 51 Ford, originally had a standard transmission. And uh, since it has the automatic and the Chevy engine in it now, it needs a cooler. Now this used to be attached right to the front of the radiator here with zip ties through the radiator. But I decided I want to make it a little better. I want to make brackets out of aluminum. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some templates and measure out and uh, mount these templates on the radiator and then I'm going to make my plans out of the cardboard templates and then I'll cut them out of the aluminum. Okay, so what I've done now is I've duct taped up some cardboard up to the radiator and I've measured my height down from this crossbar and I've measured out how far I wanted to be to center. I measured how wide the radiator was from edge to edge and I measured how wide the cooler was from the edge there to the edge there and I subtracted the width of the cooler from the width of the radiator and then divided that number by two and measured in uh, I believe it was five and an eighth inches from each side and that puts my cooler right in the center so I marked the lines vertically down there and then I mark this line here down from how far I want from the crossbar here and I held the radiator up there and I traced around the round part of the tubes just to get kind of the center and I marked I used here I'm gonna use these cushion clamps these are three-quarter cushion clamps and I'm gonna use them to connect the cooler to the aluminum part that I'm going to make. So I measured in 3 8 of an inch, which is what I figured out it had to be for the hole in the cushion clamp. And now I've got a spot for my holes to go. So now I know where all my holes are going to go. Now I can design the bracket. I don't need this to be on the radiator anymore. I can uh, draw this out on the bench. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've done a little more now. I've taken my templates over to the bench and I've drawn out what I want for the design. I used, I just, all I used to make the circles are these sockets. I just put the socket there, traced around it, kind of to give it the curve. I used another socket just to decide what I wanted my ratio to be. I made this little curve with just a washer I picked up off the bench. And I used this little round punch, it's a hollow punch, to punch the little holes where my bolt holes are going to be. So I can mark it on the aluminum. Alright, I got the design all traced out there. Time to get ready to cut. I already have my ear protection in, face shield, gloves. Let's cut. All right, I'm going to drill some holes just so I don't lose my little marks. I've already center punched them with the automatic center punch. I'm going to just drill a 1 8 just so that I know where the holes are because I haven't decided exactly how what size bolts I'm going to use. Oh dear, that one's wrong. Systems, cameras, and Sony LCD TVs. It's all priced. Two. 
Here comes the fun part. I'm going to start sanding the pieces on this little disc sander. Alright, so I found some of these Phillips head screws. They've got a little thread that'll work. I've already done this one. Tap these holes and these ones I drilled big enough these holes I drilled big enough that the screw can go through. Now, all I did to drill the screw in, because of the way the threads were, I just took it up to the panel, up to here, and I just go bit right in. Go back and forth a few times. There you go, you got threads for that particular one. If it had been a machine screw, I would have uh, used a tap and a, uh, a thread tap, but it's not a machine screw really, it's kind of a self-tapping thing. Change my bit here. Just got to drill these two holes out. One. Come on, you. And two. Well, I've uh, gone ahead. I drilled the holes, and I tapped them in the same way as I tapped these ones. I drilled a smaller pilot hole, and they self-tapped their way in there, both sides, and. Uh, that's pretty much what those two brackets are going to look like. And I'll have this transmission cooler will be up here. And uh, I think that's the next thing I'm going to show you is the finished product. Well, I've got the finished product. There it is. I drilled some extra holes in it just for looks. I kind of like it. What the heck? I thought, you know what? It looks pretty good to me. There you go. All done. Hope you learned something. If you didn't, if you see something that I did wrong, maybe you've got a better idea. Let me know. Put it in the comments. Thanks a lot.